Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So we're back. And um, yeah, so Nipsey Hussle, man, he was going to do some amazing things. Like one of the biggest things that made Nipsey Hussle so different is that when he released his first mixtape, uh, Nipsey was the first person to charge $100 for his mixtape which was a game changer because they were like, hey, this guy, nobody even knows who he is. Where does he get the confidence from for him to think that he can charge $100 for his mixtape? Well, that's what he did. And uh, he was able to gain the attention of Jay-Z and a lot of other people where he was, he broke the mold. He like you know disrupted the industry so much with that that he forced the industry to pay attention to him. many times uh the record labels were trying to court him try to get him to sign with the label he refused um he was he was just a brilliant brilliant young man you know what i mean I, i'm not sure you know how his private life was i know he was involved with uh laura london for a minute uh you know but one of the things I want to discuss with you guys is, and you guys could take it for what it's worth, <clears throat> but I know it, it holds true. It's a very, very serious thing. One of Nipsey's last words was that he had very strong enemies and he was blessed to have strong enemies. Now, me coming from a Haitian background, I want to share this with you guys because this is very important. Me coming from a Haitian background, I understand the power of words. You understand? There are some people, and we would make fun of it, uh, we make fun of it in my household. We call it the goat's tongue, right? You have the goat's tongue where you literally can speak things into existence. There are people out here that have that ability. There are people out here that have that ability to speak things into existence instantaneously. Then you have people like myself. I can speak things, but my, my fruitions don't come unless I put in work. His last words were, I have strong enemies and it's a blessing. When you guys give a lot of energy to enemies, to haters, to people like that in your, in your life, you breathe life into them. You breathe life into them. So again, if you guys are just joining in, uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys know about Nipsey Hussle. How does it affect you? How do you feel about it? Um, these are certain things that affect our community, okay? The melanated community. The reason why I say that it affects us is because there's such thing as post-traumatic, you know, syndrome, right? And when you see people doing good in your community and you see them get assassinated or murdered, it affects you. It affects you. And it's like, imagine growing up in the days of Malcolm X and uh, Martin Luther King and seeing those great leaders get chopped down. That affects you. Whether you want to believe it or not, post-traumatic stress disorder, it will affect you. When you see a young person like a Nipsey Hussle do the type of work that he was doing, getting ready to roll out a documentary about Dr. Sabi, helping out the community, uh, uh, creating businesses within the community, speaking to kids and doing all this stuff. And you see that happen and you see him get gunned down in the middle of the street in front of a store that he put up, it affects you. So if you guys are joining on to this uh, podcast, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. I'd love to hear it. So, 
I like the guy. I thought he was brilliant. I thought he was just getting warmed up. I really believe that he was about to do some extraordinary stuff. He was lining up. His stars were lining up with the right people, the right. But again, you have to be careful who you give energy to because you can breathe life into those situations. You can breathe life into those situations. I have a friend um, that would, he would always say, I ain't shit, man. I ain't shit. And I said, brother, you got to stop saying that. Because if you continually to say that, you'll begin to believe that, that you ain't shit. When you guys are always talking about, man, my hate is this, my hate is that, I got enemies this, I got enemies that. I want to keep my enemies close to me. Um, you know, that old metaphoric saying, things like that is can be very, very detrimental to you, especially if you possess the what I call the goat's tongue. If you possess what is called a goat's tongue, you will speak that into existence and it will manifest itself. It will manifest itself. You remember that old, um, I don't know if that's a biblical saying or whatever, but you remember that old story, that old fable about was, this lady found this uh, sick snake, right? And she nursed the snake back to health. Once the snake was back to health, she one day she was going to feed the snake or pet the snake, and the snake bit her. Now, the snake was a venomous snake. So when she got bitten by the snake, she looked at the snake and said, why did you bite me? The snake said, I'm a snake. That's what snakes do meaning it has no loyalty to anybody it has. So when you guys are saying things like, I got to keep my friends close, but my enemies closer, you're inherently doing the same thing with the, that the lady did with the snake. You understand? You're inherently doing the same thing that the lady did with the snake. The reason why is if anybody is going to stab you in the back, shoot you behind your head, or cause you any type of harm physically or non-physically wouldn't you expect it from your enemy i don't know if that is lately you know probably in the last 10 years has been popularized to want to give haters and enemies a lot of energy people make songs about it people write memes about it they leave quotes on their um their tweets or whatever like that, you know, my haters this, my haters that. And even I, I've been guilty of it. But you have to understand, some of you guys have a very unique ability that your ancestors have given you, which is, I again, I call it the goat's tongue. You can speak things into existence and it manifests itself. I believe that Nipsey Hussle did possess that goat's tongue. His last tweet was, I have strong enemies and I'm blessed to have them. Was, and I'm paraphrasing, but he has strong enemies and he's blessed to have them. Why would you be blessed to have enemies? And moments later, he gets gunned down in front of his store. And of course, it's not by somebody that loved him. It was, some, it was an enemy. You have to be very, very careful. Listen, the melanated community possess some unique powers that the cosmos can't even explain. And I'm not getting on no metaphorical, you know, esoteric, foo-foo, crazy shit. But I understand, like, this world is about energy. This light that's on the side of me right here, this, that's energy. You understand? That's energy. Energy flows through our bodies. Energy flows and comes out of our, our tongue. We possess very unique powers that we get from wherever, the, the most high, whatever you want to call it. You guys have to be extremely very careful. If you say, I ain't shit, 
you must manifest that. You must manifest the person that ain't shit. I have a, a buddy of mine. I kid you not. This guy will say something in about a week, sometimes even days, days later, it actually manifests itself without him doing anything. And I say, dude, the, the first time I was like, okay, let's, you know, don't pay attention to it. Second time, I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical. Third time, fourth time, fifth time, I was like, dude, you possess a gift. I don't know who's giving you this gift. I don't know if it's uh, your ancestors, whoever's protecting you. You possess a gift where you can speak things into manifestation. And again, I always say, I believe Nipsey Hussle possessed that goat's tongue where he can speak things into existence and an existence to manifestation and it will take on its own body. It will embody something. I have a, another good friend in Brooklyn. <clears throat> he got into many altercations, right? Many, many altercations. This guy's been shot. He's been stabbed. He's been, you know, physically assaulted him. Do you know every person that insulted him wind, ended up deceased? Not by his hands, by complete, total stranger. Within a one year's time, it began to manifest itself to the point where everybody would say, don't fuck with him because he got angels and protectors protecting him. You fuck with him, those demons or whatever, those gods or whatever, will come touch you. And my people out in Brooklyn, you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. You guys know exactly who I'm talking about. Ed G, that was, that was his street name. Ed G, anybody, anybody touched him, guaranteed you'll be pushing up daisies and it wouldn't be by his hands or anybody in the circle that that's what would happen because he had angels and ancestors that was willing to put in that work you guys have that too listen man, there are things out in this world that is unexplainable that we cannot explain that we do not understand not everything can be broken down in science and logic. You know, some things are just unexplainable. And like, I, I, I'm going to keep reiterating, Nipsey Hussle last tweet was, I have strong enemies. And he was blessed to have them. Moments later, he was gunned down six shots in front of his store that he built in his community, community, gunned down. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you put in this atmosphere. Be careful what you put in this universe. Because if you do possess that goat's tongue, it will come. It will come to you. So I want to thank everybody for uh, joining in. Bobby Blue, Crystal, Jessica, Chaz, Joey. What's up, Joey? Uh, Christopher Vaughn, David Brown, uh, Robert Orr. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in right now. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Uh, Nipsey Hussle, to me, the little research that I did, um, I even put his, I felt compelled to put one of his instrumentals in one of my videos because after I saw how much of a forward thinker this young man was i said you know what if i can help facilitate more attention to him positive attention of course um i want to do that and he was a brilliant brilliant young man you know trend setting disruptor um he wasn't he wasn't uh they weren't breaking him a lot of them wanted to break him the record labels wanted to get him to be submissive, bend down and kneel to the, kneel to, uh, and kiss the ring type of shit. And he wasn't that dude. He wasn't that dude. 
Salute to you, Joey. You know, he wasn't that dude. He wasn't bending and he wasn't folding. He was about his peoples. You know, and it, it, as he grew older and he grew more into his own wisdom and all, his own strength and his ancestral strength, he began to take more of controversial roles as far as, and again, if you guys know anything about Dr. Sabi, Dr. Sabi was very controversial in what he did. I had a chance to go uh, to Dr. Sabi's store in California. I bought me some of the, what do you call that? Uh, you know, his, his holistic stuff. Work remarkable. After Dr. Sabi died, I stopped using it because I didn't know what the fuck they were going to do to the ingredients, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but he was going to roll out the documentary for Dr. Sabi. Now, one of the things you guys have to understand is that Dr. Sabi, Dr. Sabi is amazing, but Dr. Sabi made a prolific claim that he can cure AIDS and cancer. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with it, AIDS is a trademark word. Cancer is another trademark word. So for you to say that you can cure AIDS and cure cancer, it's like me saying, I can cure uh, Walmart, the Walmart disease. I can cure you from having um, Facebook depression. You understand what I'm saying? And what happens is you're taking direct jabs at a corporation, not a word, but an entity, a corporation. Nipsey Hussle began on a crusade to speak about this documentary that he was gonna roll out. And he began using the same verbiage that got Dr. Sabi in a lot of hot water, which had the court case go about Dr. Sabi, that brung the court case to Dr. Sabi, which was cure AIDS. Now, if you guys ever wanna go look at uh, the interview that he had on The Breakfast Club, you can go on The Breakfast Club and his verbiage was Dr. Sabi cured AIDS. Right there, you're raising the flag, the red flag up again and declaring war. I just want you guys to understand that. It's like Burger King saying that, you know, if you notice, Burger King won't take many shots at McDonald's. And McDonald's won't take many shots at Burger King. Okay? They do it very discreetly. They won't mention any names because when you do that, when you do that, you are basically uh, infringing on copyright and you're speaking about uh, things that are happening within that organization which you have no place in speaking on. So Nipsey began to do that. Nipsey began to do that and it brought a lot of attention towards him. So I'm not big on coincidences, but I know things move in this, in this universe, this galaxy, this, this planet that we live on when there's, you know, we, we talk about one galaxy and there's many galaxies out there. So, you know, shit happens out here. Um, so things like that is, is incredible to me because that was extremely bold for him to do. Extremely bold um, to start making those claims. Um, you guys know what happened to Dr. Sabi. Supposedly he got killed in a jail in Mexico um, at the border patrol in Mexico. Nipsey Hussle supposedly got killed by Hispanic gang. I don't know. I don't know the details on that. But there there was a lot of controversy starting to circulate around that. 
be aware, be very, very conscious. Your mind is the most powerful cosmic power that you have, brothers and sisters. Your melanin and your mind is something unfathomable. Scientists can't even dissect what goes on with those two. When that's like, it's, it's so funny for me when I see uh, movies like Superman, right? When I see movies like Superman and Superman gets his powers from the sun. No, we don't. The melanated community gets their powers from the sun. Facts. That, that, that's proven. You know, when the sun hits other ethnicities, there's a chemical reaction that happens and it begins to deteriorate the other races. And I ain't taking no shots at no races. If I wanted to take shots, I'd just shoot. But it is a proven fact that when the sun hits other nationalities and ethnicities, it begins to deteriorate them from the outside in. But when the sun hits people with melanin and high rich, uh, you know, light skin, brown skin, champagne, honey, all the way to, you know, black, midnight black, however you want to call it. It draws minerals. It, it draws vitamins. It, you know, there is a glow. There is something that happens when that sun hits. And I always say, you know, when I see Superman, Superman, he, he has no melanin. But for him to get, Superman really should be black. Facts. Um, but when Nipsey Hussle went to Africa, and he got some of that, that African sun rays in a different environment where you came from and your father came from and you touched those ancestral roots and you grabbed the, the, the dirt and sand from where your, your forefathers came from and you go to the Ivory Coast and you see how far you came from, naturally that has a chemical reaction on it. Lorenzo uh, Hughes said, this is a conspiracy. There have been assassinations that they labeled as suicides uh, in the past. These people have been having great lives. I had clients that are worried about me for going to school for it. Question is, how do you feel about it, Lorenzo? If you feel that the universe is trying to tell you something, brother, you, you better take heed. You understand? You, you better take whatever the universe is telling you to do seriously. It's like Spider-Man having spidey, spider senses. Like somebody takes a shot at him, he knows that the bullet is coming to kill him. And I'm not saying that about you, Lorenzo, but I'm saying that you have powers. And a lot of times is, uh, what happens in our community is that peer pressure can cloud those inhibitions, those, those inner feelings, those powers that we are getting from the universe. Like I remember specifically growing up in the hood and my you know, cosmic, whatever you want to call it, said, don't go to that party. Or don't go here or stay in the house today or don't do this, don't do that. And many times that have saved my ass. Many times that saved my ass. Joey knows. Joe Reels knows. That's my Brooklyn brother right there. He lived downstairs, you know, in my building. There are many times peer pressure will influence you to do things that you know for a fact that you should not be doing. You should not be saying. Uh, Lorenzo says, when you threaten the African prescription drug market and the cover the lies and expose the truth, the devil's... I, I, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. That's exactly what I am saying, Lorenzo. Thank you for that. 
that is that is the drug market dude that is a multi trillion dollar market uh, i'll share another interesting fact with you did you know that um if you are doing anything in pre med in harvard one of the prerequisites for you to get your degree you have to go to africa and and see what kind of potions elixirs that they're rolling out excuse me sometimes you have to study amongst the witch doctors as they would call it you already know like the word that they use to uh, describe us is always disparaging but they have them go study under african witch doctors right and that's how they find these unique minerals and and uh you know potions and everything like that and what they do they bring that back they'll dilute the shit out of it it's like a drug dealer stepping on the coke and putting baking soda fucking sheetrock all kind of shit in there and they step on it and it does no longer have the same effect remember there is no there is no money in cures there's money in treatment so their goal is not to cure you it's to treat you and shit so that is what happens they go to africa they learn under they study under witch doctors which i just called them you know the, you know the higher power they go to our motherland study amongst them get the minerals get the the herbs the juices and everything like that bring it back to america chop it the fuck up put it in pill form and then dispense it out to the public and it becomes a treatment that will heal you for a temporary time but it has a million other side effects you got explosive fucking diarrhea you got fucking vomiting bleeding uh fucking the shakes potential suicidal thoughts and all you trying to do is uh, cure your goddamn bloating so peace and love and happiness to all you guys man i'd love to you know drop some comments i'd love to hear what you guys think um and your thoughts on the nipsey hustle situation uh, i think this was a video i usually don't make videos like this but i just i know that when things like this happen it affects us it affects us in ways that we can't we can't understand because there's post traumatic stress disorder associated with it it's like growing up in a hood and every day you hear gunshots every other day somebody got shot every other day somebody got stabbed every other day one of your friends went to prison it affects you whether you like it or not it affects you whether you like it or not so when you see a person like a Nipsey Hussle that goes out in the community he helps out the community he shares you know knowledge resources money uh creating uh documentaries to bring the awareness up of certain situations and you see him get gunned down it will affect you and again i, I ref reference uh martin luther king and malcolm x people that used to follow these great leaders these these young gods if you will and to see them get killed it affected everything it, it has a a trail you know it, it left a mark to the point where you did not see the rising of a lot of leaders for a very 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 long time you know so again peace love and happiness to you guys drop some comments i love you guys one